Welcome back. Let's find out if we've gotten anything wrong so far. For that, we go to Captain Handsome, Mike Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my new name. Absolutely. Yeah. Laugh is handsome. Yeah, I sound, I, sound, I sound like a superhero, don't yeah, I? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, charts. Right. Come, on, know, hey, the charts, come on, hey, charts, Mike. Exactly. We're I know we're charts. running behind Damn schedule it. already. Yeah. The Mr. Spiewak poll. Now, I think uh, people are going to be fascinated by this because what this does is it tracks the response of various listener groups in real time as people are talking. So you'll see that in the A block, uh, the Dems uh, interest, Democrats interest started to shoot up, while uh, in the A block, the Republicans interest started to shoot down. And we've used the stoner category as sort of a baseline here to register. And you can see that they, they don't move at all uh, on this. The uh, first half grades, you know what? I was told to, to limit all of this, so we're going to skip that. Uh, the, uh, the wanker gap numbers, the wanker variance is what we're measuring today on the first quarter. Wanker variance, of course, equals 2xy minus that little symbol with the arrow that goes up. And as you can see, the gap is widening. Uh, sprockets look good. And of course, this is my Twitter. <laughs> God. Okay. All right. Um, hey, Jedediah. Yes. Hey. 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 Um, hey. Hey, listen, hey. Uh, Andy pointed out uh, as he was starting to ask you a question, he said that, hey, you're a woman, so uh, you believe in astrology. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? He is right. According to a recent study, 75% of astrology readers are women. That doesn't surprise me because as I'm in the nail salons and the beauty parlors, as my grandma used to say, I see a lot of women reading that stuff. And me my mom too. calls me every day to say, this is what's gonna happen to you this week. So, there you really? go. Really, really. Yeah. When you're at the nail salon, do you ever bump into Bill? All the time, <laughs> but he, you know, he's in the pedicure area, you know. Nah. It's called being a Pisces. Yeah. That's yeah, nothing there you to go. do with my masculinity. Pisces, <laughs> that's an astrology symbol, Bill. Hmm? You're Pisces, a, I believe, is a. You're not a Pisces, huh? We established this. I'm an Aquarius. Oh, yeah. I'm an Aquarius okay. too. You've oh, ruined my sign. Right. I'm a sheep. Oh, yeah. Hey, Anthony, do no, you have a fun. handgun I can shoot myself with? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm with okay. you. Hey, uh, you know what? Uh, another part of a, a study, a USA Today study, showed that a third of Americans. This, this will make you, you know, puke. A third of Americans believe in astrology. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, actually, my, my, I didn't mention, my favorite part of the original article we based on was, it said, uh, astrology, not to be confused with astronomy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. They're entirely separate things. Yeah, so uh, I've heard, yeah. Hey, Anthony, by the way, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Mm, you're welcome. Um, you said that your chart says Romney. How are you feeling about Romney's chances of pulling it out in, in November? Uh, I, I actually think they're pretty good. I think uh, a, a lot of people are going to come out um, uh, to vote against Obama. And I don't think as many people are going to come out to vote for Obama. I think you had a lot of people that uh, wanted to see a lot of firsts happen last mm -hmm. election. And I just don't think they're going to come out uh, in, in force like they did last time. So I think he's got a pretty good shot. Yeah, okay. Hey, uh, Dan? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you, do you put any, any uh, credibility in this whole you know, gathering of the astrologists? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I consulted on it before I came here, and they said you'd be wearing a brown tie, and yeah. they were right. Yeah. Does, your, does, your, does your magazine, Maxine, does it have an astrology section? Uh, Maxine, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it does. Uh, it does? The one yeah. that I work at, Maxim, does not. But, uh, <laughs> Mac Maxine is actually, that's the name, that's the name of, your, of your journal. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's my blog. I, I, was yeah. doing, I was doing a day-old joke, which you yes. know, obviously doesn't work on television. But uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Bill, does your, uh, does your uh, Uncle Joe, does he often wear a clown costume, or is... You know, anything you like to talk about when you talk about your Uncle Joe? I'll tell you what my Uncle Joe always says, only in America. That's why he's <laughs> voted for Romney. Uh, uh, you know, Jedediah, you, you, you made it, it uh, now that Bill's morphed us into the next story about uh, misspellings and apps and, and all of that stuff. And by the way, uh, you asked the question, how does this happen? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a very good question. I did some research while you guys were talking. Oh, great. And um, I, there's, there's no explanation as for how it happened. So we're going to move on to the next story. <laughs> um, you know, uh, and by the way, Romney hit the magical number of delegates that he needed um, mm -hmm. for, uh, for getting the Republican nomination. Anybody care to tell me how many delegates that is? 1140, I believe it is. Is that right? That's pretty damn close. It's 1,144. Oh, that's right. 1144. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do I win, Mike? Uh, what, did you, what did you win? You want, you want another guest appearance on Red Eye. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations. Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, Anthony, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you a quote. Uh, and, uh, and, and you tell me who, uh, who actually said this and whether you would be willing to stumper or not. Um, 
Tonight, after six years of trying and millions of dollars spent, and after a year of tepid support against one of the weakest fields in history, Mitt Romney has finally secured uh -huh. enough delegates to become the Republicans' presidential nominee. Who do you think said that? Ah, uh, and what I want to... Uh, uh, the answer is Ooh, no. Nancy I know. Pelosi. Yeah. No. <laughs> no? No. I know, you Mike. I know, Mike. You I know. said that like the second part of your answer would be yes. <laughs> 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 well, who, is it, who is it, Andy? Is that Watchman Schultz? Yeah. Yeah. That's but really the good. But the, really fact of the, matter wow. is, though, the fact of the matter is, you know who else could have written that? Every single one person who was running against Romney. Yeah. They, yeah. they pretty no, much said something true. along those lines at some point during the race. No, no, th th there's actually a, a degree of venom in, in, in Wasserman Schultz's uh, quotes uh, that I don't think can be replicated by just anybody. She's a, you don't she, read Gingrich's blog. She's a lovely <laughs> woman, Michael. I won't, I won't have you talk badly about her in front of me. She's yeah, also no, my mother. Yeah. Yeah, there oh, you go. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I don't think anybody at the table would actually stomp Gingrich, no. so there you go. No uh, one knows what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, Vern Wunsch. Sh Wunsch? Vern Wunsch? Wunsch? Vern Wunsch. 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 Uh, for those of you out there wondering who Anthony was talking about, Vern uh, was a presidential candidate. Yes. And uh, he, was, uh, he was actually born and raised in a small farm town in Texas. His father was a carpenter and his mother was a homemaker. And At least he was born in this country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, I, I, that takes us off into a whole new category of <laughs> topics here. Uh, let's talk about maturity, shall we? Okay, Not let's talk about yeah. that. You, uh, why don't you talk about maturity? Bill, uh, you said that people... <laughs> <laughs> Bill, yeah, don't watch it. I'll go back to the charts because I have more. Uh, Bill, you said that people develop at different times in different ways. Are you willing to stand by that bold statement? Mm, I'm legally not allowed to stand near any statements, mm, yeah, at least really. five blocks away. At what point do you expect to start developing? I feel like versions of that cut against me were made with every person on this table. So at this point, it's a regurgitated cut. Okay, Dan, are you willing to show us your back hair at this point? Uh, yeah, if I could get. No, the he's not. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. I got no. I got. I, I got 90 seconds. Go ahead, Dan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll give you a little taste of this. How about no. that? Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh. The party doesn't stop here, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. There you go. Uh, the National Minimum Drinking Age Act of 1984 was passed, Bill, in what year? <laughs> um, 1984. <laughs> well done, you. Uh, and it was set by Congress uh, to uh, put the drinking age at 21. Um, there you go. Yeah, uh, Anthony, binge drinking is described in most uh, legal uh, volumes as consuming how many or more drinks in one sitting? I would think probably uh, 15. No, I think it's five, isn't it? Whoa. It's way Wimps. lower than 15. 15 is what the Anthony was driving home. <laughs> <laughs> the, answer, the answer is five. Yeah. Five? Uh, yeah. Uh, Andy, oh uh, you said you don't become an adult until you have kids. I, I offered that as a theory. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I mean, you know what? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's 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 not a bad. You got to set a benchmark someplace. Yeah. And and I think that's not that's not a bad one. Um, I uh, I remember my my dad one time told me uh, when I was heading off to uh, to my uh, job in the old outfit. Um, you know, because I, I we were talking about when do you grow up, and he said a boy becomes a man when a man is needed, and yeah. I, I never forgot that. Yeah. Um, Maybe so have kids or join the military. Yeah. Just yeah. kill something. Kids exactly. 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 At least kill something. Yeah. That's right hey. before he piano wired some guy. <laughs> yeah. hey Bill, uh, what a man. Bill, can you sp Bill, can you spell cogent? <coughs> uh, K L M vowel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, going to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. We're going to skip right by prostitution because that could take us all night to talk about. Uh, and Dan, uh, finishing up on Letterman, do you do you really believe that you know comics made so much fun of George Bush in such a harsh way because they wanted to be his pal? Comics uh, were crying their eyes out when Sarah Palin did not get the nomination. That had nothing to do with the question. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact he wanted to get to. Yeah, no, it's good, it's good. I appreciate the way that you redirected the whole Triangles thing. Triangles uh, have three sides. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's very good. Uh, that's it. I'm done. Andy? All right, thanks, Mike. <laughs> See you at the end of the show. Sure. So, should cannibalism be legalized? Jedediah Bila discusses a new diet book, I Eat Liberals and You Can Too, after these messages. <laughs> but first... How much did Mark Zuckerberg tip at a restaurant in Rome? I'm guessing a lot or nothing. Probably wouldn't be doing the story otherwise. We should.